Hello, everyone, and welcome to the International College Options Virtual College Fair. We're so excited to have you participating in this event. We have some fantastic schools, schools here with us today. My name is Kelsey, and I will be your facilitator tonight. But before we get started, let's go over a few housekeeping items. Your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. But you can still use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time during their presentations. This is just one part of today's fair, so be sure to join the additional sessions after this one wraps up. This presentation is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com slash ICO. And now I would like to turn it over to our ICO representative, Nancy. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the International College Options Virtual Fair. Thank you all for attending. I'm Nancy Davis, and I'm the treasurer of ICO, and I'm based in Chicago. Uh, International College Options was started back in 2013 with the goal of educating high school counselors, high school students, and their families about the opportunities to earn a bachelor's degree abroad. We're a nonprofit group with a volunteer board of current and former high school counselors. And each November during International Education Week, we typically host college fairs um, and high school uh, counselor luncheons around the country in two or three cities. But this year, obviously, because of the pandemic, we're hosting fairs virtually for the first time. And we're so grateful to have the 76 institutions that are here tonight join, and tomorrow night join us from 18 different countries this year. Each year in the past, we have produced a PDF booklet that includes information about the benefits of studying abroad, information about different countries, and detailed information about each of our partner institutions. So I'm going to take a quick second, and I'm going to copy and paste a link to this PDF so that you can all access it. So um, I would encourage you to copy that link and um, take some time later on to explore that booklet. Tonight, you're gonna to hear from each of the institutions participating in this particular session. They'll talk for about six minutes each. Um, there are also other sessions going on at the exact same time. As these sessions end, if you want to connect individually with any of the schools that you're hearing from or some of the schools that are in other sessions, um, you can connect using a second Zoom link which I'm going to copy. And again, I'm going to paste in the chat. So at the end of this session, you can access any one of the colleges listed in that PDF and connect individually with the reps from those schools. Um, we'll be sending out a survey to you within the next couple weeks. And since this is our first college fair, we're hoping you'll provide feedback so that we can improve our events in future years. Thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you so much. And we are going to be moving right along to the London Metropolitan University. Thank you, Kelsey. I'm just going to share my screen now. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. Thank you for letting me kick off the session. My name is Megan Godding and I am the Senior International Officer for London Metropolitan University. And I'm actually based here in the US um, to be able to work with applicants, families, counselors um, in their own time zones. So I work primarily um, with students all over the United States and Canada. And if you'd like to get in touch with me, it's really easy to remember USA at londonmet.ac.uk. A little overview about London Met, so we call ourselves London Met for short. We are based in the heart of central London, England. We have two campuses, which I will speak about very shortly. We have sort of our right brain campus and left brain campus, and we have about 10,000 students, 7,500 are undergraduates, and we represent over 128 nationalities in our student body, faculty, and staff. Something that's really neat to note about getting your bachelor's degree in the UK, if you're going to England, Wales, or Northern Ireland, is that the bachelor's degrees are actually three years instead of four years, and master's degrees are one year, so you can technically go study for four years and come out with your master's degree. 
And the tuition can be um, much more affordable than a lot of out of state and private options in the United States. So London Met's tuition for next academic year is approximately 21,000 US dollars, um, depending on the exchange rate that day. And we also offer international student scholarships to all of our US applicants who meet our entry requirements. We also accept um, US financial aid, student loans. Um, so you can apply through FAFSA and till, still take advantage of that. London is a fantastic place to be a student. I studied in London myself and then ended up living there for seven years. So I speak from it from a point of passion, but it's a regularly ranked the number one student city in the world by QS World Rankings and just was given that title again for 2022. A London Met alumni that we're very proud of is Sadiq Khan, who is the mayor of London. And he promotes London as a city for um, all students to come explore, make friends from all around the world, get international work experience. And so um, that's just something we are really proud of at London Met. In terms of applying for our programs, we have two intakes in September and January. And so fall term begins in late September and then January start date is the end of January. Applications are still open right now actually to start with us in January. So if you're interested in starting in two months, you can still apply until December 10th. Otherwise, applying for September 2022 will be on a rolling basis through next summer. And you can also apply through a system called UCAS, which is similar to the US Common App. And the major deadline for that is January 15th. You can see here our US entry requirements um, for your high school GPA, test scores. We have been test optional for 2021, 2022. So please get in touch with me if you wanna discuss your qualifications and we can go from there. In terms of our two campuses, here is a quick uh, aerial view from our Holloway Road campus. This is very much our campus for our business school, law, digital media, um, all of the sciences. We have a super lab on campus, which is one of the largest science teaching labs in all of Europe. And this is right across the street from Emirates Stadium, which is the home of Arsenal Football Club, aka soccer, if anybody is a Premier League football fan. And um, this is about five minutes on the tube to King's Cross Station, which you might know from Harry Potter, uh, platform nine and three quarters, and the um, St. Pancras International train station, where you can actually take the Eurostar train to mainland Europe. Um, you can get to Paris and to Brussels, Belgium from there. So you can see some of our programs listed here. Um, a lot of our social sciences as well are in this school. So again, you can get in touch with me if you want to discuss what you might be interested in. Our other campus at Aldgate is about two miles from that part of town and you can use the facilities at both campuses, but this is our very creative school. So this is our school of art, architecture and design. So um, very creative things happening on this campus at all times and a very cool part of town. Um, there's a real fusion of old and new the Jack the Ripper walking tours are always going through this section of town, a lot of pop-up street art markets. And so uh, our students really enjoy the complimentary um, feel of both of our campuses, but they're all very central London. Our students live in either student accommodation in uh, shared flats that are normally single bedrooms with shared kitchen and bathroom spaces, or other students decide that they wanna find their own flat in London. Um, that tends to be an option more popular with our graduate students. Just other perks of UK student life I found living there was that it was London truly is the gateway to Europe and the rest of the UK. It's so well networked by bus, train, um, flights that you can really experience so much. Um, London is not just a British city, it is a global city. And you really get all of that fusion of past, present and future um, that you maybe haven't always experienced in the United States just because of the, the length of the history there in the UK and London. And you really end up with best friends and classmates and colleagues and professors from all over the world, um, right in London, who are industry practitioners. So you get real life work experience and our faculty is really fantastic. Um, and another perk is that the UK offers a two year post-study work visa called the graduate route. So if you get your bachelor's degree in the UK, you are eligible to then stay and work for two years after. So this would also be uh, applicable to Durham who will be presenting um, later on in this session. And lastly, just if you wanna get a snapshot of campus, I love this YouTube video. Just Google London Met, do something you love. It's a 90 second video and a really cool tour through our campuses. So again, here's my contact details. If you wanna screenshot it and feel free to drop into my Zoom room later and we can chat some more. Thank you. Awesome, thank you, Megan. Um, next, we are gonna be moving right along. And next up, we have University of College Dublin. 
Great. Thank you so much. I'm just going to share my screen here. And great. All right. Well, thank you all so much for joining in today. Uh, my name is Brady Troy, and I'm here to talk about University College Dublin, also called UCD for short. And UCD is Ireland's largest and most international university. So we are home to over 19,000 undergraduate students, 30% of whom hail from outside of Ireland. So it's a very global international campus where you meet people from all over the world. UCD has been voted for three years in a row the number one university in Ireland by the US News and World Report. And we are in the top 1% of higher education institutions worldwide. So you can be sure when you get your degree with us, you're getting a degree that is internationally ranked and internationally accredited. So first off, I would like to talk about the Emerald Isle, what it's like to live, study, and travel in Ireland. Ireland is just an amazing country in which to attend college. Ireland is currently the only English speaking member of the EU, and this offers a really great gateway to the rest of Europe for American students. It is routinely voted one of the safest, one of the happiest, and one of the friendliest countries in the world. The scenery is just absolutely breathtaking, really anywhere you could see around it. And the entire country is about the size of Illinois, making it incredibly easy to travel around. During your time at UCD, you will see every single corner of Ireland and get to experience this beautiful country as much as you can. UCD is located in the heart of Ireland's capital city. And Dublin has one of the youngest populations in Europe, which also helps make it an amazing city in which to attend college because there's always something going on. Dublin is also considered the Silicon Valley of Europe and hosts many of the European headquarters for some of America's largest industries. So UCD itself, as I mentioned, is a top 1% university, uh, the largest in Ireland, and it's a very international campus. So you really get to meet people from not just Ireland, but also from Greece, Italy, China, New Zealand, really all over the world. And it's so cool that you get to be friends and have like these professional connections with people from all these different countries. UCD's main campus offers state-of-the-art learning and living facilities right near the bustling city center and Ireland's major business hubs, making it a really great location for internships and helping to make UCD the number one university for employability in Ireland. We are a modern campus built on tradition. And what I mean by this is that our buildings, our research institutions, and our resources are constantly updated to offer you the best possible learning environment. At the same time, however, UCD has a really unique and impactful history, wherein the college actually played a huge role in the establishment of Ireland as an independent nation. And we have educated over half of Ireland's prime ministers. So it's pretty cool. Every college likes to brag about their alumni, but our alumni go on to lead the country. So it's pretty nice to see. Um, we are Ireland's international university. And because of this, we offer a really great international student support system with a global lounge, on-campus accommodation, and over 160 clubs and societies. We have a huge student body, a really extensive alumni network and a really incredibly tight knit community to help you feel at home even when you're across the ocean. All right, um, so accommodation, UCD does offer guaranteed on campus housing for incoming international students. We have rooms for over 3000 students on campus, each of them in an apartment style setup with their own private bedroom, a shared kitchen and bathroom with maybe three or four other students and gyms, laundry rooms and cafes, quick little groceries right in the building. So it's really nice that you do have, while you're in this huge international city, you do have your own little community that you can call home. And this also makes it really easy to make friends while you're over there. So our campus is very similar to a traditional US college campus with all of the many amenities that we offer. UCD offers academic supports, including libraries throughout campus, uh, student advisors, math and writing centers. Additionally, we offer a lot of personal support in the way of peer mentorship, student health and counseling services, and a wellness text line. We offer 70 undergraduate courses, so everything from agriculture to zoology, there's something that you'll find for you here. And these come in two different forms, um, a direct uh, entry pathway and the liberal arts and sciences pathway. So many of our programs are direct entry, offering three-year bachelor's degrees or four-year combined master's degrees. 
Uh, this means that you can start studying your degree right away without having to take any general education requirements, which ends up saving you a lot of time and a lot of money. However, if you are like how I was at 18 and you're a bit undecided, you don't really know what you wanna do, that's okay. We offer a standard liberal arts and sciences degree that mirrors the standard American four-year timeline that gives you some time to think about what you wanna study before you go straight into your major. So applying to UCD is fairly simple. We have very transparent entry requirements on our website. So you can log on right now at ucd.ie to see the exact requirements for your chosen major. You can apply uh, directly at UCD or we are in the Common App. One thing to note is that when applying to UCD, and I think this goes for many of the international schools tonight, is that you are applying to your specific major rather than the school at large. Um, in this way, we do differ from American institutions, so just remember that, um, but applications are now open and rolling into the summer. Um, sorry, almost done, Kelsey. Uh, I often hear many people worrying about the price tag of studying abroad, and honestly, it is very price comparable to a U.S. university. Um, over 70% of our American students do receive a scholarship from UCD. We accept the FAFSA, so federal loans, U.S. financial aid, and outside scholarships. So, sorry, I went a little bit over, but here's my contact information. Um, feel free to stop by my room after if you have any questions. Thanks. Awesome, thank you so much. That was perfect timing. And then next up, I believe we have uh, Rain School of Business in France. Thank you so much and good evening. Uh, yes, let me just share my screen. Here we go. Okay, so my name is Monica Medina. I'm actually uh, working for French School of Business uh, for the Americas. I was also an alumni. I did my master's degree in marketing a while ago, but that also that's a plus because I can also give you some uh, tips regarding what, how the life is in France. But before we get started, I want to tell you why study in France. France is not only about Paris. France has so many beautiful places that you can also explore. And something that we can consider is tuition rates. They are very attractive in France. Quality in higher education is adapted to student needs. There is a lot of opportunities, especially in research and development. As you know, France is a world-class economic power. And uh, young talent is very, very valued, especially in sectors such as innovation and entrepreneurship. The French style, uh, you might know, you're aware that they are very rich in, in history, in culture, in gastronomy, which make it very important around the world. And in terms of language, French is the third most common business language, and with the English is the only language that you can speak in all continents. So before, uh, also I want to tell you about where we are located. We are in the region of Brittany. It's in the northeast of France. Um, it's recognized because it's one of the most touristic place in France. People go hiking, they do cycling. They're really looking to, to find very cool places in this region. And if you're a fan of seafood, well, Brittany is the best place to go because they produce 80% of seafood for the entire region. Rennes is the capital of the Brittany. It's located one hour and 25 minutes away from Paris by train, which is very convenient. Uh, we also have an airport that can connect you to different cities such as London, Barcelona, Madrid, Amsterdam. We have a beach that is uh, 45 minutes away and one of the most visited castle around the world that is called Mont Saint-Michel that is an hour away. Rennes School of Business is a school that has the triple crown or the triple accreditation uh, that are Equis, AACSB, and AMBA. Pretty much, they guaranteed you the best education uh, with the best professor and the best quality. And we're also ranked in the top 10 in France. We also have international rankings, such as the Shanghai ranking, QS ranking, uh, Financial Times ranking. So it's a very well positioning uh, school around the world. Besides that, uh, the school have this in mind that is being international at all times. And based on that, 55% of our students are international. 
not only the students, but also the professors. 95% of them, they are not non-French non professors. Some of them don't even speak French. So don't worry about the language. It's not a requirement to speak French fluently, but um, you're gonna be in touch with them. It's, it's very cool because inside the school, you're gonna have around 17 na different nationalities. But as soon as you get out of the school, you're gonna be in touch with the French culture. So you're gonna have the best of the, of the two languages. Here you can see some of our campus, as you can see is quite modern. You have also some sport facilities um, and also some music facilities. And the great opportunity that we have is that you can tra transfer to School of Business and get your international bachelor degree in one year. So basically after you finish your um, associate degree, you can transfer to Ren School of Business one more year and you will get your bachelor degree in business. Guaranteed transfer of credits, is also available. So if you want to go back to the States, there's no problem, your degree is going to be counted. And in that year, you can also pick a specialization, either in finance and banking, marketing, purchasing and supply chain. And in addition, you will have some French courses. If you go to France, the idea is that you can also learn this language um, and get this survival French. So it, meaning that you can go to a supermarket, to the grocery store, to restaurants, and you're able to, to have a conversation with the people around. This program is one year and is basically in students that are really looking to maybe create their own company or work in a business, inter international business environment. So they're gonna give uh, a lot of in important information regarding developing your soft skills, uh, inter interpersonal skills, and also create the solid basis to, uh, to uh, have a, a company. So you're gonna have classes from marketing, accounting, finance, um, among others. Our calendar starts on September, 2022 you might have to do a bachelor dissertation and you also will have an internship of eight weeks. And if we turn talk about cost, it's around 10,000 um, Euro, uh, $10, which means 9,000 euros. In terms of tuition fee, it can be less than in living in the US. In length, it's also the same. It's, instead of two years, it's going to be one year. So if we talk about cost, it's going to be uh, very good. I'm going to be very quick. <laughs> uh, we do have FAFSA. If you want to apply to FAFSA, we also have scholarships. So if we see the advantages, you will save on time, money. You will have the American accreditation. You will have your international experience. And of course, you can pursue a master's degree with an automatic scholarship. We do have, we're going to help you with your visa application, also to look for your accommodation. Uh, the process is very simple. Everything uh, is going to be online, so don't worry. The process is around one to two weeks in order to apply with us. And uh, basically, in terms of cost of living, is one of the most expensive cities in France. It's around 600 to 800 euros per month in terms of accommodation, food, and transport. So um, we're ready to welcome you with the have different activities. And here is my email address. I'm really looking forward to see you later on in our uh, booth. And thank you so much for having us. Thank you so much. And then we are going to transition right on over. I believe we have Durham University next. We do. Hi, everyone. My name is Jessa. I am the regional manager for the Americas at Durham. So basically what that means is that I look after all students from the United States um, applying to study with us at Durham. So this image that you're seeing here is Durham Cathedral. This building is sort of the center of the city of Durham, and it was built in 1093. So you can sort of imagine, um, you know, the depth of history within the city. And I use the term city uh, quite loosely. The population of Durham is about 45,000. So it's not a big city by any stretch of the imagination. But I do like to start with this image just because this is actually where all of our students graduate. So if you end up studying with us at Durham, you could be graduating within the cathedral here. 
So our university was established in 1832. We are the third oldest university in England. <clears throat> a lot of the buildings that you are seeing here in the centre of the image that surround the cathedral are UNESCO World Heritage Protected. Obviously, that includes the cathedral. Um, and just over to the top left-hand side of the screen is actually Durham Castle, which is one of our 17 colleges of residence. So you could potentially be living in a castle if you choose to study with us. So we have just over 20,000 students. So like I was saying, that's pretty much half the population of Durham. So it's very much considered um, what you would call a college town. About 33% of our students are international from over 150 different countries. Um, and from 2017 to 2027, the university is investing 700 million pounds um, across the university in a range of different things, including you know, updating our programs, facilities, and things like that to make sure that each student has the best experience possible. So in terms of where we're located, if you're not very familiar with the UK, we are right up in the northeast of England. So 10 minutes south of Newcastle, only about an hour and a half south of Edinburgh on the train. So that's what that top pin is. And if you wanna get down to London, it's only three hours on the train. So it's fairly easy to get around pretty much anywhere in the UK from Durham. Um, it's a really super um, nice, friendly area up in the northeast of England. Uh, if you do come up and visit us, you'll meet what's known as Geordies, which are basically the friendliest people in the UK, um, but you'll have a very hard time understanding their accent. Um, it's also a very green area as well. So if you're interested in any sort of outdoor activities like hiking and stuff like that, there's loads of opportunities for you. And we're only about 25 minutes drive away from the beach. In terms of our rankings, we are a world top 100 university, currently sitting 82nd in the QS rankings. And we're typically top five or top 10 in the UK, depending on which ranking system you look at. Um, but one of the rankings that I really um, sort of focus on is that we have 16 of our individual subjects in the world top 100. So there's loads of different subjects that we offer at Durham that are very, very highly regarded um, internationally. This image that you're seeing here is just what one of the main streets in the centre of Durham look like. So it is very much sort of a quintessential British town. So in terms of those rankings, again, um, we are fourth in the world for archaeology, fifth in the world for theology and religion. So students do tend to think of us as more of a humanities and social sciences institution, but we do quite well in the hard sciences also. For example, our physics department has five different centres of research on campus, um, including our Institute for Cosm Computational Cosmology and Particle Physics as well. In terms of all the different subjects we offer, here is um, a list spread about over our four faculties, um, but we do offer over 200 undergraduate programs. So there's lots of different combination degrees, um, which are not necessarily as common in the UK. So if you are looking for a more flexible option, Durham probably has something that will suit your interests. So I mentioned at the start, we're a collegiate university, but what does that mean? Um, it is quite a unique experience for UK universities. Basically, every single student is part of one of our 17 colleges. So it's sort of like a, a smaller community within the wider Durham um, network. It's definitely your base for the entirety of your studies and your guaranteed first year accommodation. It's pretty much going to be the entirety of your social experience. So there's loads of different events that happen within your college. But importantly, we make sure that there's an even spread of all academic disciplines represented in each college. In terms of sport, we are number one in the UK for team sports since 2013. So it's a very good university to come to if you want to continue your um, athletics. Um, we do have 700 sports teams across 18 sports. You're probably thinking, how is that possible? Um, well, about 90% of our students do play sport at some level, whether that be, you know, competing for Team Durham or just playing socially. Um, and one of our 17 colleges has 18 men's football teams. So that's sort of how you can get an idea of why there's so many on offer. This is an image of our annual rowing regatta. So all of our colleges compete at the end of the academic year. It's just for fun and it's just a sort of way to celebrate the end of um, exam period. But as you can see here, loads of students sitting along the river, um, just enjoying themselves. We're also really big for theatre and music. So although we don't offer theatre as an academic subject to study, 
There are over 100 student theatre productions a year, so obviously our students are very engaged in it. Um, it's completely student-led, um, loads of different options to do, you know, drama, uh, comedy, improv, things like that. And we do compete in loads of different festivals throughout the year, and we actually host our own festival each year. And we are number one in the UK for music. We do offer that as an academic subject. Um, and we have loads of options for you. Wow, I cannot believe I'm already close to my time. I have so many more slides to go. Um, there's lots of different support at the university, but basically we split it up into two different pillars. So university support, which would be your academics, including your own personal academic tutor and your college support as well. Um, and this is just an example of lots of the different companies that our students go on to work at. But if you're interested in that in a bit more depth, I can show you that and if you pop into my room. But just as a final note, you might recognize Durham Cathedral um, in some, some featured Hollywood movies such as Harry Potter and Avengers Endgame. But that's it for me. So thank you so much. And I'll hand over to the next presenter. Thank you so much, Jessa. We appreciate that. And then next up, we have IE University of Spain, and I believe she is ready to go. Yeah. Hi, everyone. How's it going? My name is Micah Trobman, and I am your um, college representative. I'm actually located um, in Los Angeles, California, and from California. I also went to IE University, so I'm happy to discuss maybe later in the Zoom room of what it was like to move out of the US into Spain, where I didn't speak any Spanish, but feel free to jot down my email. Um, so some really fun facts about Spain, if anybody has, um, has not been before, there are some of the most beaches offered in Spain because pretty much the entire country is almost covered by coasts. Um, it's one of the world's most diverse cultures. Um, there's a lot of history, obviously culture, different languages spoken in Spain. Um, and it's actually the second most visited country in the world after France and then US is third. Um, for any foodies out there, they have some of the top five Michelin stars in the world um, and that can be spread out you know, in Barcelona, Madrid. And Madrid is also the sunniest uh, city in Europe. Um, but enough about Spain. Um, so if you're someone who has a passion for travel, culture, and learning many languages, IE would be a great place for you. We do have two locations, but one experience. We have our campus in Segovia, which is that top right photo here. The campus was built in 1218, and it's protected by the United Nations because it's a world UNESCO site. We also have a partnership with the UN, so you get to do research projects with them, um, travel with them, you do shadowing programs. So if you're interested in IR, um, let's get in touch. It is a rural campus, so think it's very, I had a student the other day explain it. It's a lot like Disney. It's very magical. Um, there's lots of castles. It's really green. There's a lot of things to do outside. Um, and then our second campus will be in Madrid, which is the capital of Spain. Um, we just uh, finally built our new campus. We've always had a campus in Madrid, but we have the third tallest university in the world and the first and only high rise university in Europe. Um, it is located in the financial district of Madrid, known as the Four Towers. And it's gonna be next to where you're gonna be doing all of your internships with top international companies all over the world. Um, so a little bit about IE, we are one of the world's most international uh, universities. So we have over 75% of our students are coming from all over the, the world to study at IE. We have over 140 nationalities on campus. There's over 45 languages spoken on campus. Sounds like a lot, but everything's done in English. Um, we have a small student faculty to ratio, no more than 50 people per classroom because we are known for our hands-on teaching methodology, which I think is pretty common in Europe. Um, you're really gonna learn by doing and really uh, be able to work with your professors who also um, happen to be professionals that are the thought leaders in certain sectors of their work. Um, we are highly ranked. Um, I, I forget the rep that mentioned it, but we do have um, the accreditation. So we are globally recognized. So if you wanna stay in Spain and work, go to the UK um, or anywhere else, or even come back to the US, you absolutely can. About 43% of our students end up graduating um, and working in a different country outside of their home country. Um, because we are globally known, we have multiple companies that will recruit our students before they graduate. And we're also known for entrepreneurship. So we are the number one entrepreneurial business school um, in Europe. Um, we have an incubator on campus. You get to work with mentors. You can um, 
basically build your own company and about 10% of our students do so. So these are gonna be the degrees that we offer. We do have five schools um, that these programs will be a part of. Um, we go directly into the program, so you're not gonna be taking any general education. So even though that might sound a little scary, what IE does is they teach you what you can do with your degree while you're studying at IE. Um, and I'll get to that in just a second. Some of our most popular programs, of course, are gonna be our business administration, um, data and business analytics, communications for sure, and CompuSci uh, with artificial intelligence. And then our law program also has a partnership with Northwestern. Um, so anybody who wants to practice law in the US can study with us for three years and then study at Northwestern for two and then take the bar and be a very, very young lawyer. Our dual degrees are gonna be five years because you are studying two degrees. It's not like a major and a minor, it's two degrees for students um, that want a little bit more of a well-rounded approach in terms of where they wanna go um, for work later. Um, so again, at IE, you really wanna build your own path. So you may be studying architecture, communications or law, but what can you do with those degrees? What kind of sectors can you go into or industries? Um, so we do have electives and advanced seminars that you can take that would be outside of your degree. So if you're interested in, I don't know, like cryptocurrency, or um, professional development, you can absolutely do that. We do offer international exchanges, internships, and labs. And labs are gonna be for first and second year students. Um, they are gonna be on-campus internships. Remember, we are located where a lot of those international companies are gonna be. So maybe you're studying communication and you wanna learn how to, um, or maybe you wanna work in a startup, or maybe you wanna work in fashion or marketing, or whatever it may be. You can do a lab every year. Um, and really add to your resume or what we call a CV in Europe. And then we also have advanced seminars and then an honors program. So usually our top 5% of our students can join the honors program. You are uh, invited for that. And that's a chance for you to network with C-suite or CEOs of different companies. Um, and usually about your third or your fourth year, you do have a semester or two abroad, and it's really up to you on what you want to do with those semesters. So you can do a paid internship in a different country, you can do a paid internship in your home country, or of course an exchange. Of course, we have a vibrant campus life. I'm going to be running out of time. Here's just a small snapshot of our um, application or admissions process. We offer lots of financial aid. Most students who are coming to Spain are coming because the quality of life is amazing in Spain, as well as the affordability when you look at France or the UK. Um, so I'm going to let that uh, be it for me. Again, my name is Mike, and I look forward to talking to you a little bit later. Thank you. Thank you so much. And then last up tonight, we have Bishop's University um, in Canada. Thank you. So I will just share my screen and then I'll get started. Hi everyone, my name is Eric. I am a recruitment and admissions officer here at Bishop's University, located in the beautiful province of uh, Quebec. We are located in Sherbrooke, Quebec. So we're just 30 minutes across the US Canadian border just above Vermont kind of to give you an idea. And it wasn't long ago that I was actually in your shoes. I came to Bishops from Boston and graduated with the class of 2021. So I have a really fresh perspective as to what it is like to be a student here at Bishops University. So I like to start off with this phrase, which is be connected, be purple, be you, because I truly believe Bishops offers our students the ability to kind of find what they're passionate about and what they're interested in. Uh, so Bishops was founded in 1843, so we're actually older than the country of Canada itself, which I really think is impressive and goes to show the quality education that we offer here. We are an English language university, so although we are in a bilingual province where we speak French and English in this province, uh, our institution is entirely English. You don't have to worry about knowing French. However, we do have some fantastic opportunities for reduced price courses if you are interested in learning French, which can significantly lower your tuition. Uh, we are a smaller institution with 2,961 total students, so definitely a close-knit community. We really focus on that personal element here at Bishops. I like to say that you can't walk more than five minutes down the road without seeing three or four people you know. That's just very much the culture that we have here on campus. Uh, for being a smaller institution, though, we do have a relatively diverse population with 2,961 total students coming from roughly 80 different countries, 
and the US is our largest portion of international students with 7%. And then finally, we have 97% of our students live within walking distance of campus. So once again, I just like to say you'll never be lonely here at Bishops. You're always being surrounded by a close knit community of uh, peers and educators. Here's a few statistics. I won't go through them all because we'll be here all night, but I will highlight a few that I really like, uh, which is our 24 to one student to faculty ratio. So just like our community uh, in the classroom, we like to keep things personal. We wanna be sure that you're getting the quality education that you're paying for, where you get that face time with the professor, where you're able to engage with the material that you're learning with and not feel afraid to ask questions or uh, get involved. So 40 students is the average class size of first and second year courses. So again, just keeping things personal uh, where you build relationships with those professors that at some larger institutions uh, you may not be able to do because you may be being taught by a teaching assistant or something, someone of that nature. And then although we were founded in 1843, we certainly don't look the same. We've done over $200 million in campus renovations in the past 10 years. So we continue to uh, take our campus to the next level. Uh, so we are located in Sherbrooke, Quebec. So you'll see some of the driving times to some major cities there in the corner. Uh, Montreal is an hour and a half away. And uh, my home of Boston, Massachusetts is four hours away. Uh, so we're really in the hub of a lot of major cities here. Uh, and so if you're interested in traveling to a bunch of different cities and still kind of being close to the US, being close to home, uh, then that's a great opportunity here. And then we also have tons of study abroad options as well. Uh, so you can study abroad while you're already studying abroad. And then we are a liberal arts institution. This is something that I like to highlight because it's actually one of the reasons as to why I decided to study at Bishops, which is again, our students have the opportunity to kind of explore and discover who they are here. We know that it's difficult at 17 or 18 years old to figure out what you might be interested in. So here at Bishops, you really have that ability to kind of explore. So if you come here to study psychology, of course, you'll have your required psych courses, but you'll also be encouraged to take courses in, say, business or education or anything you might be interested in to see if there's something out there that uh, you didn't even know that you liked. And then our admissions requirements. So we are looking for an overall average of around 80% or 3.5 out of 4 GPA or the equivalent. However, we are test optional, so we don't require any SAT or ACT scores, you don't need to worry about personal essays and you don't need to worry about letters of recommendation. However, I know a lot of you already have those things because as a US student myself, I already had them ready to go. So you're totally welcome to submit those as well. Uh, they're only gonna enhance your application and uh, increase the likelihood that you'll get some sort of scholarship. We also accept IB students as well with a minimum uh, 30 predicted score. So. Uh, those students are, of course, welcome to submit their applications as well. And then another fantastic element of going to university here in Canada is the affordability aspect. So our tuition for everything included, books, uh, tuition fees, meals, everything, is 40,766 Canadian dollars. However, that's 32,150 US dollars. So you'll notice you get a discount on pretty much everything you spend here in Canada. Uh, with that conversion rate from US money to Canadian money. So it's really a great um, attribute as to why uh, you, uh, it would be beneficial to attend school here in Canada. It's a large reason as to why I decided to come up here is because I still wanted a quality education, of course, and our education here is portable and you can take it really anywhere. You can go back to the US as many of my friends have done, but it's very affordable. And uh, you can apply online via the Common app, which is actually how I applied, or on our website where the applications are actually free as of right now. And some important dates. So March 1st is what you have to apply in order to be considered for our competitive scholarships and bursaries. And then April 1st is our final deadline. I just wanna thank you all so much for the opportunity to speak with you. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the Zoom rooms. Awesome, thank you all so much. And thank you to all of our presenters tonight. Um, just some closing words before we leave. Um, there will be a quick survey after you close this window. It's just a five question survey and we always appreciate that feedback. Um, please go ahead and attend those additional sessions. If you need any of those links, I believe they are all posted in our chat. And then of course the recording will be available at strivescan.com slash ICO, but you all enjoy the rest of your day and we'll hopefully see you next time. Thank you.